Do you know who that is knocking at your door? You'd better. With this 2010 census getting underway, officials are now warning about possible scam artists that could be out there coming to your door, people representing themselves as being involved in the census process, when they're really not. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Kane is here with more on that. Dan? Well, Congressman Chris Murphy held a press conference today to warn about possible scams associated with the census and to lay out what census workers can and cannot do and what they will and will not ask. Census forms will arrive in mailboxes in March, and census workers will be knocking on the doors of folks who did not return them by April 1st. I think to the extent that we get out in front of it and expose what could be a scam, uh, less of them will happen. The fear is that scammers might try to take advantage of the process by posing as census takers. There are only 10 questions on the form, and here are the basic guidelines. Census workers will not ask for Social Security numbers or for any credit card or bank information nor need they enter the home to fill out the form. It can be done at the door. The best way to deal with the census is to simply fill out the form when you receive it in the mail and send it back. For every 1% of the population, so 1% of 300 million people roughly, that don't respond to the census and we have to go out, we have to spend an additional $20 million. That's a lot of money. That's money that we wouldn't have to spend if people return. You know, the importance is to mail it back. The Census Bureau has a very good website that can answer any questions you might have about the process and employment. All offices in the state are now hiring, and everyone is encouraging full participation in the census. But in doing so, uh, to be careful of people who may be out there, um, who we know are already out there, trying to reap some personal reward off of a con associated with the census. And a final note, you may be contacted by mail or phone or in person in terms of the census, but you will not be contacted by email. So if you get any email message purporting to be related to the census, hit that delete key. Don't even open it. Dan Kane, Channel 3.